Hi Cubies, here's Alexandra again. Well, every once in a while uh, I build myself a new standard deck for uh, Magic the Gathering and, well, I don't want to uh, keep that from you, so here it is, my newest deck. It is called uh, Revenge of the Consulate. Or Stompy Mac Stomp Stomp. <laughs> Well, um, let's start right up uh, with a mana base. It's quite simple, 22 planes. Quite cheap. So um, then we have here a Glintsleaf uh, Artisan uh, as a single card. Uh, this was just a filler card. Uh, you can uh, put in whatever you want. Uh, I personally like him. Uh, he can uh, do work on its own. Uh, it's basically a 3 3 for 3 or a 2 2 for 3 with a 1 1. So, then we have a, a Gear Smasher Colossus, 4-5 uh, uh, creature for uh, 5 mana, uh, with Vigilance, and uh, when he enters the battlefield, uh, you and your opponent each chose an enchantment, a creature, an artifact, uh, and a planeswalker, and uh, you sacrificed the rest. So this is basically, uh, well, a board wipe, uh, almost board wipe, uh, with a inbound creature. So, nice thing to have. So then we have uh, here the Chief of the Foundry and uh, Foundry Inspectors. Um, you can uh, shift the amount uh, of them however you like. Uh, if you like two uh, Chief of the Foundries and one uh, Foundry Inspector more, well, change it if you like. So um, <clears throat> next up we have here our uh, Vehicle Crew Component. Those are uh, basically all servos. So uh, we have uh, four times uh, server exhibition, and uh, four times uh, the cook worker puzzle knot, and two times the whirler maker who makes thopters. So uh, those are basically uh, our, uh, one one uh, creation machines to crewing all the vehicles. But to the vehicles we come later. So then we have uh, our removal sweep. Uh, this is uh, quite easy. Those are four times Caught in the Brides and four times Revoke Privileges. Uh, Caught in the Brides uh, has the uh, disadvantage that the uh, creatures can still crew vehicles, but uh, the advantage that uh, you will remove them from the battlefield uh, <clears throat> completely when you attack with a vehicle. And uh, trust me, here are enough vehicles in this deck. And uh, those are uh, Revoke priv Privileges. It's Basically a pacifism effect, uh, like the uh, Court and the Brides, um, with the inbun, inbuilt, uh, doesn't crew a vehicle. So, now we come to the vehicles part of this deck. Here are quite a lot of vehicles. We have two times the Untethered Express, two times the Oval Chase Drexer, three times a Sky Skiff, then four times a Consul Dreadnought, and four times a Peace Walker Colossus. <clears throat> so, this uh, looks at the first glance as uh, quite a lot of vehicles and uh, you will normally not be able to crew them all, but uh, you have to look a little bit closer. So, here, the Untethered Express is an artifact uh, for four mana. It has a Trample, whenever Untethered Express attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on it. And it is, very importantly, Crew 1. And it is a 4-4 four, four, uh, four, four creature when it is crewed. And so, <clears throat> basically, all you need is one server to crew this one. Very effective. Then the Oval Chase Dragster, same uh, kind of thing. 4 mana, Trample, Haste, Crew 1 for a 6-1. So this is basically a, a, a ball lightning uh, on a stick here very effective to uh, smash through the opponent and uh, well uh, get through with uh, some damage and uh, in the process kill something well the oval chase dragster will probably die but uh, that's its whole purpose then the sky skiffs uh, for two mana you get a, a vehicle with flying two three and also crew one so all those three uh, vehicles can be crewed by a simple servo or a thopter of, of you and trust me, you will create a lot of them. So, um, and then we come to the payload of the deck. We have here the Consulate Dreadnought. It just costs one mana, is a 7-11, but has a crew cost of six. So he's a very um, 
hard to crew, but the payload is this here. Peace Walker Colossus. For three mana, you get a vehicle with, uh, there you can see it, 6-6, six, six, with a crew cost of four, but with a, a very special ability. For one generic mana and a white, another target vehicle you control becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. So, uh, basically, the thing is, the Peace Walker Colossus can uh, crew each other, and they can crew the Consulate Dreadnought, if they want to. So, uh, in the best case scenario, you drop a, a Consulate Dreadnought in turn 1, <clears throat> create two Thopters in uh, turn 2, turn 3, you uh, make a, a Peace Walker Colossus, and in uh, turn 4, you can attack with a Consulate Dreadnought with 7-11 powered by this one here. So, um, overall this deck is, um, well, somewhere in the middle between an aggressive deck, like a, a Red Goblin deck or something, and a mid-range deck. So, it is quite fast uh, and quite reliable. Um, you can always uh, create something to block uh, your uh, opponent's creatures and uh, you have uh, good ways to remove opponent's creatures <clears throat> and you can uh, quite reliably uh, crew your vehicles and if your Peace Walker Colossus uh, is killed uh, by your opponent then you can uh, try to crew the uh, Consulate Dreadnought with one of those uh, vehicles that you just have to crew with one servo or with one sop thopter. So, um, let's talk a little bit about uh, variants of this deck. You could uh, also include uh, the card uh, Sram's Expertise. It's for 4 mana, it's an uh, sorcery. And you cre create uh, 3 servo tokens uh, and you get the ability to cast a, a spell for 3 mana for free. For uh, Well, with this spell you can uh, cast uh, here the uh, Willow Maker uh, for free or... Uh, um, a Peace Walker Colossus, or here the uh, Glintsleaf Artisan, or one of the uh, Foundries here, Foundry Inspector, or uh, uh, Foundry uh, uh, well, you know what I mean. So, um, uh, other things you could uh, put into the deck uh, from um, the Gatewatch uh, set, uh, there is uh, an artifact equipment, the Captain's Claws. It's for two mana, an artifact equipment, equip equipped cost of one, and um, the creature gets plus one plus zero, and when it attacks, uh, it is creating a one one core soldier token tapped on attacking. And uh, with that, you can uh, increase the uh, amount of one one creatures that you have. Uh, also, another uh, good include, if you don't have uh, here the Peace Walker, uh, the Gear Smasher Colossus, or this one here, uh, you can include the uh, Angel for uh, 5 mana with Fabricate 2, all other creatures get plus 1, plus 1. Uh, Flying Vigilance Lifelink, so this is also a nice inclusion into the deck. Um, then General... Uh, Graveyard high hate or uh, other stuff you could put in the side wall, uh, sideboard, uh, whatever you like. So, but uh, this is generally the deck, and uh, well, I hope you like it. Until the next time, you're Alexandra.